In the past, working relationships were based on a big boss employee dynamic. Space was dominated by the cubicle empire. Then people started working by departments and space was subdivided. Today, the real office structure has reduced the gap between the employer and the employee, and the space has been reduced as it becomes more specialized. While designing the workplace of the future, we have encountered a space paradox. The increasing wave of telecommunications has enabled the workers to connect themselves to the cloud without requiring physical interaction, which has undermined the value of a working environment. According to this, the future will be the freelancer era. We have chosen the freelancer as a subject of study because of their working dynamic. They work under their own schedule, rules and disposition. They have been taught to market themselves throughout the net and are used to working by specialized areas. The freelancer is its own brand. The existence of a network has obliged people to live under a metaphysical state of mind, in which they have to be in two different sets of planes. Based on these circumstances, we have decided to approach the architecture project from a virtual sense of space. By creating an interconnected web of actions and places, users can choose their working conditions according to their needs and preferences. Our proposal is to provide spaces with continued availability that generates a flexible working network. But, how to do it? The typical office offers you a series of elements that are presumed to be the ideal of a working space. Chairs, desks, air conditioning, reunion places, plants, and so on. What we are asking, do you need them all? The perfect working environment has been standardized while working similarities grow further apart. Take the traditional workplace. What if we explode it, destroy the cubicle? People working isolated can connect physically again and create a living network. In order to accomplish this, we have tried to adapt as many places as possible to provide the necessary elements to perform working activities. This allows productivity levels flexible enough to match the constant presence of the social networks. The network becomes physical as it installs itself in the city. Public spaces are to be conditioned by technological infrastructure, with connections and facilities to make them working environments. Plazas, stations, boulevards, streets, they are all potential offices of the future freelancer. Each person will choose where to work and under what circumstances. Inside, outside, hot, cold, here, there, the user chooses where. Adapting a network inside a city allows us to use spaces that already exist without building new ones, which lowers the environmental impact that comes with construction. Connecting and qualifying will be less contaminating than creating many new working environments. The network doesn't pollute and its physical manifestations are less invasive. People are accustomed to being connected 24-7, which has changed the way we relate to our jobs and obligations. Being reachable every second is a new way of living. Users should be able to work on their projects as they navigate throughout the city. We intend to adequate public places, making the city the workplace of the future.